Hello family and friends. Uh, today we're going to be doing an install on this bed here in front of the house. Okay, this house had a bunch of stumps in, in the bed and what we did was we pulled out the stumps and put down a layer of mulch and now we're going to put some different plants in to make it pretty out front. We're also going to be installing some flowers in these flower boxes here to liven things up. Got a few flowers going in. We have the uh, pink geraniums with the nice showy blooms up there, cluster blooms. Even the buds are, are added attraction of how they look before they bloom. They even look nice before they open up. We have some white vincas. We have some impatience here, the variegated. When these bloom, they're going to have uh, pink blooms inside a variegated leaf with a yellow center. White petunias. Over here, some zinnias. And on the entrance, we'll have some red coleus. Uh, these will get big, uh, just over a little over knee high and nice and full. And our flower box is ready with a geranium in the middle. These are really drought tolerant. Uh, can stand medium watering. And all of these plants, uh, you can allow the soil to get dry before watering again. We have potato vines on the end and uh, they'll trail down elegantly and complement all the different colors and textures in this flower pot, flower box. Our other plants were spaced out along the bed here. We are checking to make sure this is how we want them before, before we start planting. And now when we plant, we're going to put some garden soil in each, uh, in each hole to make sure they get the proper nutrients. I'm almost sure this is how we're going to put them. And let Janice take a look at it, then uh, we'll start planting. Nice flower box, Janice. Thank you. Wow, looks great. These flower boxes add a warm and welcoming feel to the house and the cocoa liners allows the soil to drain so that the uh, plants won't get root rot from uh, standing water. So after placing the pots in, she's going to be putting dirt between each one of them. We're putting uh, miracle Grow garden soil. And let's get planting on that other side. Looking at it from this side looks really good. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and get to work. So what I did was dig the hole almost twice the size. You can see the soil is very sandy. We put the soil in for added nutrients. Go ahead and get them in. Then I can do my thing.
So in this one, in this one, we have the pink geraniums. This pink geranium is called the African Orchid. This variegated impatient is called the Compact Tropical Rose. It's an impatient though, uh, with the serrated leaves. On the edge of these leaves kind of look like a steak knife. And it has a chartreuse variegation in them. And the bloom is pink when it, when it blooms. The white vinca. This vinca is very, very crisp. The white pops from blocks away. Zahara sunburst zinnia. The super tunia, uh, white petunia from uh, Proven Winners. And on the entrance, the red coleus. Our flower boxes have a little bit of each. This install was fun and it's, we were expecting some rain today. And we seem to have finished before it rained. Turned out beautiful. Hope this inspires you to get out and start your spring and summer planting. Uh, do a bed with a couple colors or just go all out. Thank you for watching.